Hello world, my name is Silver Draconis, and welcome back to CrossCode. In the last episode, I didn't really end up doing much, but I gave an explanation as to what's been going on, and who, what, where, and why. So, after that, I did a whole bunch of grinding, and I am now level 11, which is awesome. And I found out that when you're uh, getting up in rank, you can get up to S rank, which is really cool, and it, unlock and it gives you some interesting dialogue from... Uh, Leia. This is one of the ones that she said as like, do you ever plan to stop? You'd be the type and then when you stop uh, fighting yourself, you'd be the type to run marathons in your spare time. And there were there are a couple other ones that that come up, which is really cool. There was also a dialogue because I'm I'm gonna be showing different areas I've explored and stuff. Down here, first of all, this is the Hedgehog's Den, right off this side. Where it's supposed to be raining, but it's not. If I investigate this chest, it'll initiate a boss battle, which will presumably give me the broken chakram. I'm not ready for that boss battle yet. I tried it a couple of times just to see how it would go. Yeah, no. Because <laughs> cause I thought I would try it, and if I, I felt I was able to do it, I'd save it for the the stream the the streams video recording the this. <laughs> words and things but yeah I'm not ready I'm not yet worthy so that's what's going on there I have also well, I'm gonna be going through here to various areas I've, I've been grinding a lot and I got new gear uh, I got a cooling veil from a chest uh, I don't remember which chest I got I made the civilian trigger and a battered fist from various shopkeeps. I got the bovine armor, I believe, as a drop. And then I also made some rusty anchors. And Emulator is also got newer gear. So you got a mugger blade, bovine armor, and fleety sandals. And a cool thing that I noticed, because uh, as I get back to the area, actually, I could probably just help right there. Yeah, here we go. Bloop. So, as you get further along over here, you start to run into the, the mad bovines, the, the, these cow-like creatures. If I could find one, two, yeah, these ones. And it, it came up with really cool dialogue for Emily. It's like, oh, I'll be able to show them when I, get sp when I go to record again. But it only goes back so far, sadly. Um, and because I was grinding so much, all there is is just the different things from me grinding. But basically, she was talking about how she used to grow up next to cows when she was little, and she would walk past the fields every day, and how like sometimes the she she swear the cows would begin to recognize her, and she would she she tried drinking fresh milk and stuff, and it was really good, and it was just a cool little like person personalization thing that it was interesting, and I wanted to show it off, but I freaking. Uh, so that that's what happened with that. I don't remember the exact words because I planned to show it with the dialogue, but oh well. Oh well. It it, it was a cool little insight into Emily though. She she grew up in a rural town and she lived next to like cow pastures and stuff. Um but I want to get to a specific screen. Because I can show... Not here. Where is it? Where was the thing? Was it down? I think it might have been down. Can't fucking remember. Um, where was it? There's a thing I want to show where I got it. Because it was really cool. Before I show what I got. Because I've been just... I've uh, been opening chests when I find them. And normally they're just like on top of a rock and you gotta do some platforming to get them. But this one was really cool and I want to show it off where and how I got it. Uh, but I can't remember where it was exactly. Was it here? Might have been here. Yeah, okay, it was here. Uh, the chest was up here and what you had to do was... Excuse me, hedgehogs. What you had to do was... Oops, ran into that guy. Was go up here and... Oops actually make the jump. Come down here, do 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 And then go up here and push- this was a button that you stood on. And 
that opened up the that spawned the chest down there and you went and you platformed to it and got it and what it gave me was a uh, where is it where did we put not sure ah here we go it gave me a master ball like from Pokemon heroes once used this device to capture legendary fiends which is friggin' awesome! I literally have a Master Ball. I don't know what it's used for, if it's even used for anything, but I have one now. Which is so friggin' cool! Oh my god. Um, I did make some more veggie set and stuff, and when you're grinding and you get to, like, rank A and rank S, you start getting, like, sandwiches and high sandwiches off of enemies, as well as chili con carne, which... Uh, it gives you 10% focus and 10% attack, which is really good. So I got some of those items just for grinding a lot. And then I now also have some quests I can complete. I can uh, complete this one, I just need to go back to Elena, back in the thing, and then I just need to report back to Chief Woodkeeper. So I completed these two, I found all the sickly trees and I found the geocache data, it was just under a rock. Uh, that I could dig up. So, let's go back and complete those quests. And then we will be moving on. Uh, I suppose I could just teleport. I forget that there's a thing I can do. Like, <laughs> uh, world map. There you go. Let's go here. Bloop. And I'm sorry that I'm not showing how I'm getting all the, like, where exactly all the things for the quests are, but if I did that, I suspect I would be, with the, this, the episodes wouldn't get anywhere far for a very long time, because with this being... A, a seemingly MMO style game you get a lot of random like fetch quests this that and the other and I don't want to drag it down and not make any progress for like five ten episodes while I'm just off doing quests uh, here we are autumn's rise not autumn's rise <laughs> fruits of autumn gotta remember the distinction okay ah oh, you are done wonderful your efforts should have quenched the threat to autumn's rise you have our deepest thanks. May we continue to preserve the harmony of this moon together. <laughs> Yay! And a level up! Heck yeah! So now I'm level 12. Which means I should have two... Yes! Okay. So I've been debating... Because I want to start getting these like offshoot skills ups. I haven't actually done a lot of with focus. I did get the proximity blast for shield... Uh, technique. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I figured it's good to have it. But now I want to start getting these, and I'm not sure what I want. Uh, I'm thinking of getting melee damage, because now that I can specifically just use melee damage, I'm using melee a lot. So I think I'm going to do this one. Alright, so now we got to go talk to Fall Divers. And I've also, I was reading the encyclopedia, because it, it was a curiosity of mine, because it seemed to be like, this is a game storyline, but at the same time, it seemed a bit too, well, real, quote-unquote real. Uh, like the avatars were actual things that were meant to go on these track walks and do it, uh, while at the same time it being like a game, I, I couldn't tell, like, if it was just all there padding for, like, it being a game, or if it was... Like, this was actually what was happening. So I started reading encyclopedia stuff. Uh, welcome back. I see retrieving the data went off without a hitch. Yeah. Great job. Hopefully that'll stop Tuskus from moving around. He's a great scout when he isn't reckless airhead. He shouldn't be down over some lame misstep. Anyway, take this reward. Hope to see you around for future endeavors or quality time. Yeah. Okay. Uh... But yeah, so I was reading the encyclopedia entries on the various different... Uh, here we go. On, like, the different prologues and people, different things about cross-worlds. 
And it seems to me we're we're actually on a moon. We are legitimately on a moon circling a gas giant. Like it was terraformed by this instrument ink. So we are actually literally here on a different planet, which is nuts for one. Which and it seems to me that like Operation Trackwalker is like a legitimate thing. Uh, cause there are also locals of Shaddaa that we will eventually meet, cause they- it mentions in this encyclopedia the different, uh, locals that you can meet and interact with. Which is very interesting. Cause it seemed- it seemed to be put under the premise of, like, a game, but this is actually, like, a real thing. Like, we're on a moon, we're walking this track, and there are, like, natives that live in this world, and- were initially against us because we fucked everything up with the track and now we're trying to atone. And also the reason the enemies respawn the way they do is because they're made out of instant matter like avatars are. So that's the explanation behind the enemies being able to respawn and such. But I, I find it kind of- so it's, it's, it's kind of wondering like do they rec do the people who are coming into cross worlds know that it's like they're like legitimately on a different planet or or are they under the assumption that it's literally just a game or or that it's just a game when it's not really I like I don't know how to word exactly what I want to say but like it, it's kind of it, I'm, I'm curious to see where it goes because it seems like a lot of people refer to this as like a game but we're actually here, on another moon, where there are, like, locals and natives, and this track is, like, a legitimate thing. So, it's a weird line. I don't think this is as much of a game as it's pretend portraying itself as. But now we're gonna keep exploring, and I know this is gonna enter into a cutscene, I but I don't know what, because as soon as I saw it entered into a cutscene, I quit and reloaded my last save so I didn't go there because <laughs> I didn't want to spoil anything I didn't want to do anything uh, too extreme there we are hmm I hope we don't get lost around here oh over there it seems we have to head northwest to reach Bergen Trail mm -hmm. I hope it's not too far how about the log out sooner or later you see oh Ah, don't worry. I'll stay until you beat up Mr. Grasshead. And please don't hurry too much because of me. We have to make sure you're well trained, and all. Mm -hmm. All right then. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> hmm. That is right. We've been playing for a long while now, Leia. Hmm. Anyway, I suppose there's still time for you to face that duel. Yeah. Come on, Leia. Okay. I suppose. We're not... Again, that's that weird, like, juxtaposition of, like, this is a game, but it's also kind of not. It's weird. How do I get there? How do I do? Hmm. How? Ooh, wait. I see. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, guys. There's no way up here. Can't get up there. Where's the way up? I need to follow this jumping path somehow. Right. Plants! I'm, like, paying too much attention on, like, the bits of land that are jutting up that I can't actually... I'm not actually watching where I'm going. How would I get that one? There are too many things! Hang on, let me try and get this one at least. Okay, got that one. Cool. Ooh, six twilight do. Oh, come on. Yay, got it. I'm a master. Okay, so I can't get up from here. Where's the way up? Maybe I have to come in. No, I can't come in from a different way. Um. Oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the start of this madness. So I jump here, then I jump 
down here, and then there. Haha! Ooh, nice bear cicadas. Okay. So where are we going? I don't want to go northwest just yet. So let's go this way. Because I still want to explore more and find all the secrety secrets. Uh, let me just look up here though in case there are any more chests. Okay, so that's the way up to Bergen Trail because I, I want to train more. I want to be able to beat that green haired. Uh, whatever the hell his name was. What was his name? I can't remember. Nope, can't make that. Alright, uh, so let's go to the left. Ye old observatory. That's what I need to visit anyway for one of my landmarks. Which is good. Wah, wah, wah. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Sorry, I had to check something. I was suspicious, suspicious that it was actually running as smooth as it was, so I actually had to make sure I was still recording. Ooh. I thought my character was walking on his own, I realized I was accidentally pushing the, the analog stick. Let's talk to this person first. I don't quite understand this building. Eh? To observe those who seek all elements is our duty. If you dare to seek our wisdom, find the key to unlock this observatory. Okay. I can do my best. I'm not promising any miracles, but I'll try. Hmm. Oh, there's a chest up there. I want that. I want that thing. How do I get that thing? Oh, how do I get that thing? Let go this way, this way. Here. Ah! Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. Jumping puzzles! Well, it's not really a puzzle, more like just find the beginning of the path. <laughs> wow. There we go. Yay! Dungeon heart? What's that? What is that? It's a gold thing. Where? Okay, here it is. Okay. What does it say? A strange artifact used to banish monsters in caves. I don't know what that's a reference to. I know what the Master Ball is a reference to, but I don't know that one. Dungeon Heart. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Weird. But we got it now. It is ours. We have that thing. But why? Why do we have that thing? Oh, hey, there's a dude. Can I talk to you? No. Um, I could get these things, though. Yes! Give me that dragonfly. Yes, got it. Okay. Good, good, good. I also... <laughs> I found it kind of funny, because I, I was looking through all the different uh, encyclopedias and trophies and all that, because they had like little markers for new shit and it was annoying me. So I went through all the trophies as well to try and get those. And I found some interesting trophies. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, there are some... Uh, here, like, this one. Jump a total of a thousand times. I'm also good at plumbing, which is a reference to Mario, and I find that freaking hilarious. Um, uh, and there are a couple, like, my star sign is Libra. I don't know what that one means. Um, uh, and there's another one that I don't remember where it is. Ah. That one's the plumbing one. I've... Th this one is a reference to something and I can't remember what it is. It can't be. I don't know what it is. It's driving me mad. I don't... I have no idea. And this one and this. There is no cow level. I know what this is a reference to. This is a reference to Diablo. 
because Diablo, it, there, there's even like, uh, I play a lot of uh, Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. That, that's the only Diablo I've played, but I also, I've learned that there's like this th ongoing thing where there's like this hidden cow level. And in Diablo 3, and Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, there's even like, there's a loading screen that was like, there is no cow level and stuff like that. But there is a cow level! There is a cow level! You, you need to make a staff of herding with these rare uh, drops from different places, and there is a cow level. So I know what that is referenced to, and that just tickles me to no end. <laughs> One punch. Uh, is gotta go fast. And I just, I love references and little, little, little thing, little Easter eggs like that. It's so cool. It, it, it tickles me to no end. But I can't remember what the it can't be is a reference to, and it's driving me mad. Can I go any further in here? No, I'm at the end. Okay. But it's it's driving me mad. So if any of you guys know what that's a reference to, please write it in the comments because it's driving me crazy. I don't know what the actual trophy is for, but I just I it's like tickling the back of my head of what that's a reference to, and it's driving me mental. What was I doing? Oh, I was gonna look at quests. I forgot. Okay, so I still need one more landmark, which is presumably up more. And I also need to find Autumn Probe. Uh, Pathway 6 for using my Seeker Senses. And that one I'm working on, and that one I'm working on. So, where am I? This is Pathway 4, and then these are all lower. So I could try going up one, because I don't want to get to Bergen Trail just yet and initiate my duel with Mr. Fuckface. I'm just gonna keep calling him Fuckface because I can't remember his name. I should really look that up. I, I probably could actually. Hang on. <laughs> I should I should learn his name. Uh, no, not that. Uh, now I kind of I, I kind of feel bad. I, I don't remember his name. Oh, he's not even in here. Damn it! Um, is it in here? Apollo! That's his name! Apollo! <laughs> oh, I'm awful. Uh, okay, so let's go up. Oh, like one or two bits. As long as we don't get to the actual Bergen Trail, it should be fine. I'm gonna save quick. I'm gonna save. Okay, so where are we now? We're on pathway five. Um, uh, and there's a way to the left, and a weird little nooch with a way to the right. Okay. And these are black cows rather than brown cows, so I have a feeling they'll be tougher. But I'm not going to fight you right now, because I'm exploring, damn it! I'm certain I will get many an opportunity to fight you. Later on. Where's the way up? Where's the way up in this gull's darned jumping puzzle? Ways across there. I can't get there. How do I? How do I get up? Oh wait. Uh, wait. I can't get there. Can I? Ah! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, I can't get over there. Urgh! And there's a chest over there. I want to get over there. How? How do I do? I can't get up there. Where's the way up? I can't find it. You have to come at it from another angle. Another, uh. Whatchamacolor. Oh, wait, no, there's more here. I thought that was the way through. Oh, I'm up here now. I'm up here now. Okay, so that's the way onward. But I want to do the jumpy jumps. So I think I need to go this way. Wow, this place is big. I didn't expect it to be so big. Um, can I get up if I go back down there? Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I could actually get back up. But I can. I mean, I'm certain they wouldn't have had an area where you can get stuck like that. But still, it's just like, eh, I'd rather not risk it unless they know. Alright, here we are. Yeah. So there's a treasure chest down around there. How do I get that? Not certain. Can I make this jump? 
No, not a snowball's chance in Hades. I think I had to come at it from this angle. Here. Jump. Jump. Okay, let's go let's go over here first and because there's a dude. Oh, there's a chest up there as well. Hang on. Chest first, then dude. Yeah. A blue a blue shell! Oh my god, that's from Mario Kart! This is so cool! I'm, I'm not even paying attention to the store right now, I'm just wandering around. It's fabled to be the bane of many a conqueror. <laughs> oh my god, this just tickles me to no end! I love this kind of stuff so much! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I don't even care about the storyline right now. I'm just going around finding Easter eggs. This is great. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even talk to you. Oh, this just tickles me. This is so cool. I love all the references. It's great. Okay, we need to go this way. Oh my god. It's just. Oh, there's a cave. Oh, I'll get to that in a minute. Hang on, I want to go get the chest. Yep. Hip. Hip. Okay, so it should be around here. Yeah. I got a daikon. What does that do? Looks like an equipment. Uh. Oh, it lowers my focus, but it ups my attack and max HP. Uh, what about with battered fist? No, I'd lose way too much with battered fist. Also, uh, but I lose a modifier as well, because you have the... I wish I could... Eh. Uh, on the left, underneath, because uh, it shows you the different things they affect. Uh, attack, defense, focus. Focus deals with how well you shoot. Defense, how well you can take a hit. Attack, how hard you hit. Max HP is max HP. And then there are resistances to fire, ice, shock, and wave. Uh, right now I have some resistance to fire due to... I don't remember what I have on. I think it's my boots. But then underneath there are also like Solid Guard, Pin Guardy, Berserker, Iron Stance, HP Regen, and Shooter. Which were those, uh... The, like, buffs to my character. So I gain some HP Regen, but I lose 20% Shooter. So I don't know if that's entirely worth it. Then again, I don't do a lot of shooting to begin with. But I do need to get better at it, cause I since cause I've looked into the class sets as well. Um, here I'll actually I'll go in and show. Uh, wherever the hell it is. Here. Okay. Up 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 up. Cause I I I was trying to figure out for a long time what the different classes were, and why we didn't get to choose. But here it shows. So there's the tribulator, which are virtuous because they're each based around the five virtues that people choose uh, and these guys were green they're based on the virtue of strength and their element is heat there's quadrigard which virtue of endurance and their element is cold these guys focus more on defense these guys focus on attack but they lack defense and range abilities pentafist which this would probably be a character I'd be happy with playing uh, the virtue of agility speed and quick attacks with their fists are their main tools of a pentafist flare but their HP is the lowest of all classes, which makes them a glass canyon. So their favorite element, and their favorite element is socks, and the shocks, not socks. You know, the sock element. <laughs> then there's hexacast, which is the virtue wisdom they deal with, like ranged attacks and stuff like that. And their favorite is wave. And we are a spirit master, which is the virtue of balance, which is actually probably what I would have ended up being. Because this is a fighter that seeks to balance all the different elements and classes abilities. So like ranged, attacking, defense, all sorts of nice and balanced. A, a jack of all trades class, which which I'm pretty happy with, except for the fact that I suck at ranged. <laughs> Just playing out, I'm terrible. <laughs> so I do want to try and get better at that, but at the same time, that ups my attack. Uh, I'll, I'll debate on it. I, I will debate. I'm stuck. So let's go enter that cave. And then we'll go, we'll probably end the episode there. 
Again, I'm sorry I'm not getting much done, like, I, I'm trying my best not to load it down with, like, doing quests and exploring and stuff, but there's just so much to do and explore! I can't help it! Uh, I am gonna save because I don't want to go on Bergen Trail just yet. So if this leads to Bergen Trail, I really don't want that. But this seems, like, pretty hard to get to, so I don't think this will be... Oh. Oh, it is, like, a legitimate cave. Okay, so there's enemies here. Let's do one quick battle before we end this episode. Oh, they throw fire! That's not fair. Luckily, I have heat resistance. Haha! -ha. I don't remember what from, but I have it. Ouch. I'm burning! I need to dodge better. And more. Okay. What's the point of that? Hmm. There's nothing here. Except some enemies. Maybe this is just a good place to farm those dudes? I don't know. Maybe I'm not high enough level. Or maybe it's just a little cave. Either way, that is going to do it for this episode then. In the next episode, we will be moving on even further. Because right now, we are... On pathway 5. I might go and see if I can bop over to pathway 6 just so I can work on getting more quests completed. Because as long. Uh, yep. Okay, so let's just go to the left real quick because I don't want to risk there being story and not being able to do what I want to do with the things. So I, I still will be just grinding. I won't be moving on ahead or anything like that. I'm just going to be grinding and trying to complete the quests I have. Yeah, here we go. Pathway 6. Ooh, there's a puzzly poo. Ooh. Oh, there's a puzzle. There's a puzzle puzzle. Oh, I want to solve it. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a... Ah, I'm getting distracted. I, I'm trying to end this episode, and I'm getting distracted. I will save this for the next episode. I'm not going to do the, the cool puzzle puzzle off screen. I promise you guys. <laughs> um... But yeah, in the next episode, we will be doing the puzzles here and trying to move on and prepare and get ready for our fight with Mr... I almost called him fuckface again. <laughs> Apollo! Apollo was his name. I, I gotta remember that. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you got any tips or tricks or anything you want to see me do, comment down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!